Hey, what's up, guys? It's Josh here. I'm here with Coach Katie and the rest of our coaching team. We want to go over this week's Tabata workout. So for this workout, we're going to have five stations, two exercises per station. You'll be working for 20 seconds. You'll have 10 seconds to switch between exercises. You're going to do four sets of each exercise, and we're going to rotate around the room one time today. You ready, Katie? I'm ready. Okay, so station number one on the ropes, we're going to be doing our tall kneeling get -ups. So starting from those knees, get those ropes moving here, and now you're just stepping up to that standing position, and then going right back down to your knees here. Remember, try to step up with the other leg each time, so alternate those legs. Now, if going down to your knees is a little hard here, you can squat here and just work on those squat waves, or just go to that traditional rope wave here, keeping those hips low. Our second exercise is our plank squat jack. So, from that push-up position, you're going to kick those feet outside your hands and then go right back out here. Trying to go as quickly as you can, making sure to keep your shoulders over your wrists. You can also step back one leg at a time here and then step back out, or you can just hold that plank for that 20 seconds, whatever you can do to challenge yourself on this set. Nice job, KK. From there, we're coming over to our suspension trainers. We have Coach Tia demonstrating our sprinter start. So, with the sprinter starts, you want to get those Bands underneath those L or underneath those arms here against your chest, leaning into it here, stepping back, driving off of that front leg here, trying to stay on your toes. So team, let's get up on the ball of that foot. Yeah, there we go. We keep that heel up the entire time. Driving up. If you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, you can add that hop in. So you'll hop forward and then hop back pushing that air out as you explode up. You'll do one set on one leg, and when we switch exercises and come back, you'll do the other leg, so you're gonna do two sets on each leg. Our second exercise is push-up. So, you can set on the black floor, there'll be room on the blue floor for you as well. Squeeze those shoulder blades, pressing back up. Wall up those abs, squeeze those glutes nice and tight, deep breath in, push that air out. You can also go down from your toes, lower those knees and press up from your knees. Again, down from your toes and then up from your knees. Or you can work from those knees, just focus on squeezing those shoulder blades and pushing the ground away from you. Nice job, Tia. From there, we're back out to the blue floor with Coach Katie. Woo! We're gonna be working our plank with the bag pull through. So, get that bag underneath your belly button and hips, not underneath your chest. Push the ground away from you with that one arm as you pull that bag across. The slower you pull here, the more challenging this is going to be. So, take your time, squeezing those glutes tight, focusing on that plank. Of course, you can also do this from your knees if you need to. You can also just hold that plank for that 20 seconds. Our second exercise in this station is going to be drop squats. So, we're gonna kick those feet apart, reaching for the floor, bring them back in and back out as quickly as you can here. So we're focusing on fast speed here. If you need to take the impact out, you're just gonna step out into that sumo squat here, touching down back and forth. Great job, KK. From there, we're coming over to our kettlebells with Coach Matt, but we'll be doing our bent over single arm row. So Matt's got that other arm resting on that front leg. He stepped back with this other leg, chest out over his toes, and he's squeezing that shoulder Shoulder blade, pulling that kettlebell up to his chest, pushing that air out as he pulls. When you, you'll do 20 seconds on one side. When you come back to this exercise, you'll do the other arm. So you're going to get two sets in on each side here. The second exercise in this station is our slider climber. So we're going to get those feet on those sliders, push up position here, driving those knees up and then driving that foot back, keeping your shoulders over your wrist. You can also slow this down and get more intentional with it. You can also do this without the sliders, driving those knees up one at a time. You can touch those toes down. You can also just hold Hold that plank again for that 20 seconds. Nice job, man. From there, we're coming over to our last station. We have Coach Seth with us. We're going to start with our stability balls. We'll be doing stir the pot here. So get those forearms and elbows on the ball. Squeeze those glutes nice and tight, strong plank position. And now we're making those circles by moving those elbows away from you and then back underneath, switching directions each time you can. Wall up those abs nice and tight. You can do these from your knees as well. Start with small circles and see how big you can get here. Protect your lower back though. Make sure that you really are feeling comfortable through your core and your lower back on this exercise. And again, if you need to, you can just hold that plank for this exercise. The second exercise in this station is our goblet squat. So you're gonna grab a kettlebell, or excuse me, a dumbbell. Holding that dumbbell by the head here in between both hands, you're just gonna squat down and then drive back up. Deep breath in on the way down, drive up, pushing that air out. Of course, as you're getting tired, if you need to, you can go without any weight here and just do some body weight squats at this station. Okay, 
That's a Tabata workout for this week. Great job, everybody.